Hi guys, I'm Justin. Um, I want to explain to you about the Operative IQ, the new system that we have for checking in and out bins uh, that have been used or expired items, the system and the way it goes, and I'll try to make it short and sweet. Um, just some bullet points. Um, we have the new system which has a tablet for just scanning in or out. Um, each kit, as everybody's seen, has uh, a bin, a label, um, and then it also has a, a generalized kit name. So like say IV1 or IV2, and they'll also be labeled, let's just say, uh, you know, CCC7, and that's the actual kit that's been put together by the chiefs, uh, which also have expiration dates attached to them. So they scan those things when they come in, um, and when they're scanned when they come in, um, and we scan those into the system, um, when you do your Thursday uh, truck check, um, those go into the system and then they'll know um, that there's an expired item within that, that bin. So um, the ex ex expirations are tracked through Operative IQ. Um, when you have something that you know has a shorter uh, Operative IQ, or if you have something that has a shorter expiration date, then you can take and start using that um, the shorter expiration dates first. I mean, I know these are these are things that we probably all already do, but just to say, um, keep the kits closed until they need to be uh, used. Um, when you check an item in, that's exactly what you're doing. You're taking it off the truck, checking it into the master supply, and then you're gonna check out what you need. Uh, once you do that, you put it on the truck, then you go into um, operative IQ uh, under log supply usage like normal. Uh, when you log supply usage, look up, say it was IV you know, 01, you go in, you find that, and you add, you click one, you add one, and you add to call like you would normally do for, for supplies. Um, when you have a kit that say you're checking back in uh, to master supply, say it was this, and you have 10 dextrose. So we've only got one in there. So just leave the box, don't throw the box away because they reuse these and we need the boxes. So put that back on the shelf, uh, take the that random bag and put it where the other ones are so you can also utilize that and it just makes it a little easier. Um, so if there's a few things of, say you have IVs and there's you ran out of 18s, you're getting low on 18s, take those couple of 18s, maybe not everything in that IV bin, and put those with your things. That way you can utilize that and it'll be a little bit more efficient. Um, examine the kits once a day, make sure you go through them, make sure you're checking, uh, make sure you, you know it's at the discretion of the, the crew as to whether you're gonna take something out of the bins, you're gonna check one in or check one out. Um, if you know there's just one thing um, inside the bin, like say it's flushes, uh, if there's you know, or a lock. If there's like two locks, you know, you would check the whole bin and you don't just try to resupply just the locks. Um, the ambulance inventory that's uh, every Thursday, um, do those like normal, obviously checking everything a little more thoroughly there. Uh, the last Thursday, remove the kits that ha contain expired items. Um, and again, don't throw away the boxes when you do this. Um, we'll have a little bit more detailed list um, kind of showing uh, on the computer how to navigate and do these things. Hi everyone, Chief Kelly here. I wanted to talk about the uh, operative IQ with the use of the barcode scanner on the uh, mobile op IQ site. First thing is I guess to log in uh, again, just like everything else, the uh, company name is Owasso Fire. On the mobile site, each station has their own login. Of course, this one uh, I'm logging in is for Station 4, uh, Station 1, Station 2, Station 3 uh, for the individual ones. However, all the passwords are the same, and all the passwords are Owasso 911 with a cap. Once this comes up, 
uh, then you're going to need to make sure that you are on master supply for the supply room. Do not choose your station supply room. Choose only master supply when you are using the uh, scanner or using the kits in and out. After you check your master supply, the next thing you're going to do is we check out and in kits, not the assets, kits only. You're going to select your medic number that you're in Again, this is the physical medic. It is not the uh, call sign that you're using. I want to point out that your unit number here, it, you need to make sure this is actually an ambulance. Some people have accidentally clicked, or clicked on select crew member and they're trying to enter items in as a crew member or giving them to the crews. This always should be one of our ambulances uh, that you're going to be checking out to or checking in from. After you've selected your unit, click Next. This is going to bring up everything that is actually on that unit for all the supplies, uh, for what's physically there at the moment. You're going to have multiple choices, such as this is where you can go ahead and use the barcode scanner or you can type it in manually. Uh, the other thing you can do is if you know which one it is and you want to go and search, you can always take and just click on the item that's there. So if you're checking a, a unit back into the supply room, this is probably one of the easier ways to do it. Again, find which one it is. If you're not sure what it is, but you've got it with you, you can just go ahead and type in the uh, uh, identifier. When you do that, make sure you hit the enter button and not the scan. If you hit scan, it's going to bring up an error. And basically it's going to do this. Just hit cancel. You should be able to come back, hit enter, and then you're good. Also, if you're not sure uh, if it's there or not, uh, A10, this is a smart list, so it will bring up a bunch of different items for you and start showing you. Uh, anytime you do something, when you check a kit in, it always puts it to the very bottom of the screen. It doesn't sort and give you from the top. So let's go ahead and I'll do that A10 or triple A10 again. One thing I want you to note is triple A10, that's the individual kit number. The IV1 are the series of kits that all contain uh, those items in it. Uh, but the triple A10 or those uh, alphanumeric designators, that's the individual kits. So we have 20 kits that are all called IV-1, but each one has their own uh, identifier. So that's what you have to type in for the barcode, and then you can hit enter. Uh, so to check it in, it'll, it'll give you the option over here, cancel, save, or check in. You'll hit check in. You'll hit OK. And at that point, remember it was at the bottom. It's no longer here. So then when you go to Enter in another one. Uh, again, I'll just go ahead and sit, uh, select this one since it's supposed to be there. I'll hit enter. Now, this one does give us an error string for some reason. Don't know why, but Operative IQ is working on it, trying to figure out what it's doing. Just go ahead and click OK. Hit next. And now you can confirm that, yes, it is actually still in the supply or uh, on the ambulance, so you did successfully put it on there. Uh, another item you may get, and this takes place when I have been uh, trying to tweak the amount of items carried in a kit. Uh, I just scanned one, and uh, as you can see, this says, hey, you're about to check in a kit or check out a kit with missing parts. Click OK to continue. Hit OK. 
because all it's saying is that when I adjusted this one, I made it to 15 from 10, so it hadn't been re restocked since this kit was put into service. It still showed up here on the bottom, uh, so it's good to go. Uh, with the scanner, again, so I scan. And if that happens, that's hit your back key, uh, hit next. Now I scanned it, so instead of typing it in, I can scan. Here's the uh, III4. Again, I'll check in. I'll hit OK. And now it's ready to go. And uh, you've checked that one back in. Again, you just have to remember that uh, this only tracks expiration dates. With the barcode scanner and the kits going in and out, I can tell if IV kit number five has an expiring item on it, and I can tell IV five, because if not all of them have it, but triple E10 does, I will know triple E10 is on medic one, so that we can get it off there and we can fix it. If we're not, checking these kits in and out, then I have no idea where anything is. Uh, and I don't know if the supply room is empty if you didn't use the check sheet to check things in and out. Again, that's all there is to uh, using the uh, uh, mobile IQ for scanning in and out or checking your kits in and out. If you have any questions, always feel free to get a hold of me. Hi everybody, Chief Kelly here. I wanted to talk to you about the Operative IQ check sheet. Uh, the check sheet, as you know, is used when we're doing our daily checkout of the ambulance to help make sure everything is there uh, and to remind us of what needs to be done. Another option is to use to log our supplies uh, from each call so that we know what we have to uh, remove from the station supply room and put back into the ambulance. To start with, uh, when you first log in to Operative IQ, you're going to notice a customer name. If it's missing one, it's a Wasso Fire, and that's all one word. The login ID is always your first initial last name, and then the password is whatever password you set up uh, when we uh, started the system and gave you a password. The next thing you need to know is you have to select your unit. As you can see, we've got medics one through seven, and of course, old medic three. You need to know that when you select your unit, it's the physical unit you're in, not your call number. If you're located at station two, you may call yourselves medic two, but you're actually in medic five, and that's what you need to log in, log in as. I would suggest when you log in, if you have the ability to continue shift or start a new shift, if it's the beginning of your day, feel free to start a new shift if nobody else has already started it for you. Otherwise, you want to select continue shift uh, so that you don't erase the progress that may have already been started. And then you'll have the messages for your check sheet. Typically, that's going to be nothing, so you'll just close it. The system will take you into inspections first, which is where you do your daily inspection. Uh, you do your medical equipment check. In the medical equipment check, it's going to remind you, hey, did you rotate your batteries for the monitor? Did you rotate the auto pulse? Uh, striker caught batteries, ventilators charged. Make sure you have all the straps, including the shoulder straps, not checked under, uh, etc. cetera. It, it all just goes into what you have to do if there are any issues, that's where you'll go ahead and place them in the comments. As always, when you're done, uh, save in process or submit. And then when the vehicle goes out of service, 
uh, kind of need to know if the vehicle's going out of service, is it going into Tulsa or where is it going for repair? Maybe it's the city shop. And did any of the following items get left on the vehicle before it went down? If it's going out of town, I need to know if there's anything on it because everything should come off of the vehicle. Uh, anything that did get left on it and it was going out of town, uh, you need to go ahead and mark. The next thing we're going to talk about is your uh, inventory. So on Thursdays, you do your uh, complete inventory. As you go through everything, uh, you'll select the cabinet that it's in. Make sure you have what's supposed to be there for par. If there's an expiration date, the expiration date. Check the expiration date against the uh, expiration that's on file here in this. Uh, if it's all there, you can set to par. You can save and then it takes you back. Uh, you notice there, the engines each have their own bag also, so you can go through on Mondays and do those. Uh, again, it's no different uh, than when you do the uh, inventory for the ambulances. I do want to note, though, that the orange boxes, everything with expiration dates, uh, should already be filled out. Those in orange are getting ready to expire. And then those that are blank had been used and not been restocked or had already expired and been removed and not replaced. Uh, these expiration dates are designed not to go away unless they get used. So that way you only have to put in those that were used. Uh, if you've got, for instance here, there's for albuterol, uh, when, you when you use one, just double check to make sure that whichever expiration date you used is the one you remove. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to look at what's remaining, and as long as what's remaining is listed, you can get rid of those that you didn't. Now let's take a look at the log supply usage. From the log supply usage, this is done anytime you're needing to take an item out of the supply room and place it on the ambulance. Example, if you use five pair of gloves out of a box, you only document it if you took a box out of the supply room. You don't document five pairs used. If you are uh, replacing a kit that is on the ambulance, then you'll take and you will log the kit uh, but, uh, as far as being used. So from here, uh, let's talk about, here's IV. Uh, typically, it's going to be the IV6, IV7, IV8 are the ones that get used the most. Uh, so, But if you're replacing the kit, it's always going to be just one. And then you go ahead uh, and so after you select the one, you hit add to call and it pops up. If for some reason you accidentally hit the wrong one and you didn't mean to, you can delete it, add supplies, go back and select the one that you should have had and add to call. Doing the log supplies in, or I should say for the kits, is the only way I'm going to know you need a kit replaced in your supply room. So this will show up as Medic 5, uh, but it will show up in uh, Station 2's supply room so that I know they need uh, an IV kit number 7. If you don't log it this way, according to Operative IQ, then your inventory is still full in the supply room and I don't know you need it, so therefore I don't bring one and that's when we start running uh, out of items to replenish. Uh, another 
uh, thing I want to point out is when you're doing inventories on the Thomas packs or the red bags off the engines, again, unless it's an individual item that we carry in the supply room, you're not requesting uh, supply usage. Uh, if, as an example, uh, you needed to replace 18 gauges in the Thomas pack, uh, you would just go ahead and remove the 18 gauges uh, from the kit uh, in the cabinet and put those in the Thomas pack or from the uh, kit in the cabinet and put them in the red, red bag on the engines. Uh, and then when the kit needed to be replaced, that's when you would go ahead and uh, request it. The last thing I'll mention here is that uh, there's another video that talks about using the scanner for transferring kits from master supply onto the ambulance and from the ambulance back into master supply. You have to do both of these. You have to log supply usage here of the kits and you have to transfer it from master supply out into the ambulance and from the master or from the ambulance back into the master supply room.